Here I'll be showing you how you can move regions and also loop regions across your project. I'll show you how you can do those things with this track here. So this is the same track that I used for the videos on the topic of layering tracks. So here I've got a few instruments stacked on top of one another. I've got piano, um, a string section, a plucked synthy type thing, French horns and some percussion. So this is what it sounds like all together. So just a quick thing for demonstrable purposes. Um, so right now, all the instruments are playing at once. But what I want to do is sort of bring these instruments in gradually and spread this out across here. So the plan is to start off with one instrument and gradually bring in the rest to build up the track. I'm going to start off with the piano at the top here. And what I want to do is just repeat this section seven times. So play through this seven times. Um, if I solo the piano, it becomes a bit clearer for you to see alongside everything else. So this exact thing here, but just repeated multiple times across here. And instead of playing it in again across all of those bars, um, what I can do is just loop what's already here. So if you hover your mouse over the end of the region, on the top half of the region, that little looping icon will appear. And then what you do is simply left click and hold and drag to the right. So as I drag it, you might be able to see where the loop begins again. See there's little dips in the region. And where it says repetitions, that tells you how many loops of this region you've got. So I'm going to drag this all the way over here. So I want seven. And that's seven. So I'm going to leave that there. And so simply what I've done is get this first section of 16 bars. And I've replicated that all across here. Now notice these notes, the looped notes are slightly faded. So you can't edit the loop notes. You can only edit the original ones. Be aware that any changes you make in the original region will get copied automatically across all the rest of the looped regions. So if you wanted any musical variation somewhere along here, um, you might have to play that variation in yourself, or you could look at copy and pasting a region instead of looping and making any little changes that way. Um, looping is for when you just want to have straight repeats of a particular section. Now moving on to the other tracks, I said that I wanted to bring these instruments in gradually um, so what I need to do is move these regions along to the right. So the way that you do that is very simple. Um, you just click and hold on a region and drag it to wherever you want it to go. So I'm starting off with the cellos and I want this region to go here, lining up with the second piano loop. Another way of moving the regions is by using the key commands. Um, but before you do that, just right click on the region, go to move, and then set nudge value to. Now I've got this set to one whole bar. So make sure the region that you want to move is highlighted. Then press down option. And use the left and right buttons on your keyboard to move the region. So notice that it's getting shifted a whole bar for every time that I press left or right. And you can set the nudge value to whatever you want here. So for example, you could set it to every quarter note and you'll see that the region nudges one quarter beat of a whole bar. So you've got lots of different options there.
In this instance, I'm actually just going to drag things with my mouse. Because it's a bit quicker than doing it like that. But that's how you can nudge a region using your keyboard. Um, if you get into more detailed editing of a track where you're zoomed into pretty small areas, the nudge tool is maybe more useful in those situations. Um, but for this, I'm dragging regions quite far from their original positions. Just easier to drag and drop with the mouse on this occasion. I'm going to continue over in part two, where I'll finish all this off. I'll quickly go over how to move multiple regions at once, as well as loop multiple regions at the same time. I'll also touch briefly on one or two more technical things that might be helpful to know when doing something like this in a project.